that uh, Zelensky has, quote unquote, a victory plan or, quote unquote, a game changing uh, uh, plan. The idea seems to be um, Zelensky now isn't insisting on every inch uh, 1991 Ukrainian soil and every single uh, Russian army and personnel. Ev all of that has to be given up. All of them um, have to go. That that was the basis uh, that uh, Ukraine began this war uh, in terms of its um, its aims. Uh, that seems to have been quietly uh, abandoned. And what Zelensky seems to be talking about at the moment, uh, clearly with the say so of the, the United States, is a negotiated uh, settlement, maybe land for land, uh, maybe some deal over Donbass, uh, maybe um, some agreement on the Black Sea and uh, Crimea. So the United States, uh, for all its rhetoric about peace, actually doesn't want peace. It knew uh, that it was provoking war uh, between Ukraine and uh, Russia. It didn't do anything to stop the bombardment of uh, of Russian, Russian, um, Ukrainian um, positions uh, in the, the Donbass, um, you know, rockets, artillery shells, uh, tanks were supplied, all the rest of it. Uh, and clearly, um, eventually, um, Putin uh, took the bait. We had uh, 2014, of course, the Maiden coup, uh, but also we had uh, the invasion uh, from the norm. An American strategic point of view, surely the aim is uh, to finish Russia as a Black Sea power. Crimea effectively has been abandoned as a Russian naval base. Uh, it's been shifted uh, to the east, but get rid of that as well. And therefore, uh, Russia only has cold um, ports, ports that you can use, uh, but only with difficulty throughout the year. So Vladivostok uh, in the Far East, Archangel in the North, um, Petrograd uh, uh, in the North, again, which can be blocked off uh, by uh, NATO uh, fleets. This time uh, we have Donald Trump talking the language of peace uh, about sorting the Ukraine issue out within 24 hours of being elected. I'm extremely skeptical, certainly once uh, if he's back in the White House, the guys from the Pentagon would come to him and say, look, Mr. President, you want to stop China, don't you? He turns around and says, yeah, uh, I want to stop China. Well, this is how we do it. We surround China and to surround China in the way we're doing it, uh, to trigger the overthrow of the Putin regime, maybe divide up Russia into a number of different uh, neo-colonies um, or uh, under a new Yeltsin, whatever it is, pro-American pro -America, pro regime in Moscow, um, and then you've got China surrounded. So you've got China surrounded uh, with Taiwan, with Japan, uh, with the American fleet. Uh, you've got India um, uh, on board. You've got AUKUS. Uh, you would have uh, the North. What a strategic idea of controlling Northern uh, Asia down to the Yangtze, and if you control that, the idea is basically uh, you control uh, the world. Here's the new American uh, century. That's how it would be sold uh, uh, to Trump. Does he go for it? I would guess yes, uh, simply because he recognizes the challenge uh, from China, unless he wanted to risk a direct war uh, with China, an indirect war is surely uh, preferable. It takes you longer, uh, but it's far less uh, uh, risky. Meanwhile, we have a Karibuki uh, dance over um, Storm Shadow. Maybe uh, Lamy and uh, Starmer really did go uh, to uh, Washington. We demand uh, that we're allowed to uh, give the go-ahead for the use of Storm Shadows. And my reading of it, Britain acts as, to use a phrase, the yak dog of uh, the United States. And we had the same Karibuki dance uh, over F-16s. Will it make a decisive difference? No. Of course not. That's not what this is about. This is upping the ante. Uh, this isn't going to be militarily uh, decisive. You know, what's going to be decisive at the end of the day is your ability to produce shells, your ability to produce drones, um, your ability uh, to mobilize large numbers uh, of troops. And certainly when it comes to artillery and all the rest of it, the United States and NATO can do that job. It's quite prepared. Uh, to see Ukrainians die 
uh, in the cause of uh, the overthrow of Putin and the strangulation uh, of China. I disagree uh, with Alex Kalinikos in the latest edition of Socialist Worker. He seems to view the West as losing interest in, in Ukraine, that this is an unwinnable war, um, a certain war weariness in Washington. I think that's a misreading of it, of Donald Trump. He talks about peace in this context, uh, but if we put it in the context of China, uh, I think we get a much uh, more accurate uh, a picture of what is uh, uh, involved. And that's a clash fundamentally uh, between the United States and its only serious uh, global rival, uh, which, is, um, which is China.